Rudrush is asking, why is heavy metal genre more popular in developed countries? Can popularity of metal be an indirect measure of enlightenment in a community? This is a tough question. My initial thought, no, it's just off the top of my head, is that it might be a indirect measure of enlightenment in a community in the sense that in many other countries, this form of music and artistry is extremely stigmatized and even criminalized. So oh. there was this metal band in from Iran. I think their name is Confession. And they were actually sentenced to jail and had to escape the country um, because, you know, their music was so blasphemous and stuff. Um, so in that's one aspect of it. Another aspect of it might be in less developed countries. Um, you know, of course, people uh, <laughs> have music and they have artistry, but on average, I'm willing to bet that there's less time or availability that people have to dedicate to their artistry. Um, and also, I mean, a lot of, I want specifically thinking about like Norwegian, like black metal, a lot of that it literally came out of these angry young men being upset that their culture and country was like too happy. <laughs> like if you go look at it, that's literally <laughs> kind of the, some of the genesis. Um, so I, I think, so in that sense, yes. Um, but yeah, uh, actually, I, I thought I thought there was no relationship, but uh, but based on what you're saying, it does seem to be. And also, metal is like a form of protest, right? Mm -hmm. Metal is a form of like saying no to. It's inherently countercultural. It's always it was supposed to be countercultural. Yeah, I thought like I understand. Like I just changed my mind right now on air. Okay, so. Um, I think like, yeah, the more free a country is, the more enlightened it is, the more a culture of protest it will have. And given that metal is, plays into the whole um, value system of like saying no to undeserved authority, I think like when people have a background of valuing that, have a history of value, have like normalized that as a value, you're going to see more popularity among yeah, or, or tolerates the, the public display of that. There's yes, There's a lot exactly. of countries that wouldn't even tolerate. No, but but I think uh, Rudrish is more talking about not about whether it's allowed or not, but why would people celebrate it more, right? I just think, like, there's more... Young people are angry and confused, and they want to find a way to express it. Yeah, I think, like, there is, I mean... There's a le higher level level of accept acceptability in more enlightened countries. There's more room for people, even though the people who are angry feel like they're being su suffocating. They're not suffocating to the point where they can't voice their frustration in forms in their metal and other forms, right? So, given that that level of breathing room is allowed, it's going to express itself in many ways, including metal. So I think like having some level of enlightenment and allowing that will meet results to cultural um, behaviors like this, right? And I think like if the accept acceptability of re um, rebellion is even less than what you're seeing in these countries, then the, that room that is because it's not seen as much of a value, maybe um, there's less acceptance by society. Um, I mean, even in countries where like rebellion is now being, rebellion is seen as a value against the regime, for example, like in Iran, rebellion of its on its own is not yet turned into a value, right? It's only against the regime because it's pure evil that it's being celebrated, you know what I mean? But the rebellion, like protesting, like, I don't know, against your parents or against your school teachers or against, you know, all forms of authority, that is not still seen as a value of its own, like, because, because of just, because of it being a protest, you know what I mean? Like, just mm. demanding, demanding your rights or demanding what you deserve and demanding change and just that 
by its very nature being, being seen as value is still not deep rooted even in countries like Iran where rebellion against the government is seen as a value right it's just you know so it, they, it needs a longer history I mean Iran I mean even Iran has a better history compared to other countries around there because since you know the constitutional revolution around you know uh, which is at the beginning of the 20th century so Iran does have an experience with rebellion and protest but I still think like you know ever since the uh, Protestant revolution the culture of protesting has become a much bigger part of um, Western European and North American culture um, compared to the rest of the world right like it becomes it's a value of its own which eventually turned you know by the way that was something that Martin Luther himself was against like we shouldn't give credit to Christianity or even Martin Luther for that Martin Luther was like against all these protests he told <laughs> he was like I was talking about changing Christianity for your life for you to be equal to the kings in the next life in this life you should know your place right in this like he was asking for the kings to everybody to basically um completely eliminate or like completely suppress the protest like he was very much against the protest which is amazing how Martin Luther who is like responsible for the Protestant religion was against all the protests <laughs> like it's like okay in the next life you're going to be this we're all going to be equal in the eyes of Jesus in this life this be the king you be the peasant okay so that was the understanding so I just want to make sure that I just because I'm giving credit to the Protestant revolution for instilling this culture of protest in, 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 in Western Europe and North America, I'm not giving credit to Christianity or Martin Luther for any of that. But yeah. I love how exactly. everyone in the live chat is bonding over metal. Brother Ben is saying, mm. at ungrateful bastards, don't forget to like the stream. <laughs> yes <laughs> yes guys please like the stream it helps us grow the channel it really really does so thank you for that thank you for reminding everyone yeah <laughs> tagging all ungrateful bastards <laughs> um that's a good one hmm. we should swear more at our live chat i think that makes them like the channel like the i don't know I feel about that. Uh, I'm too sensitive for that. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Abhabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.